So now, um, coming to user's profile, we need to be able to, when we're looking at a user's profile, we need to be able to see all the QR codes they created and all the transactions they have. So this is a sample list of users. If I click on this, I will see the user's profile. So under here, we need to see all the QR codes you've created and then we need to see all the, all the transactions you have ever done. So to do that, we'll go to users, users, I think I should copy this list, these transactions, because um, I should copy it, because we'll need it. So we'll go to users and we'll go to show fields, and at the bottom of the show fields, which is the profile of the user, we can paste this. All right, then we don't need this if statement, do we? Yeah. Only if you are the user, let's say here, we're using the user variable, look at it, user variable, and we're gaining access to the ID, that's it. So only if you are the, the, the this current user, or you are an admin, that's when you can see all transactions done uh, by, let's pull the user name and put it there. So this is how you do it, all the transactions. I think we should just leave it at transactions, makes sense transactions so this post transaction but we still need to go to the user profile to import the transactions i hope you understand what is here basically it's just html let me format it clearly so it makes sense to read so this way and um, this way so it's that beautiful so we're just pulling the transactions of the user you understand so we need to go and get this transaction variable we need to pass it down to this view. So we go to users controller on the app HTTP users controller. We're looking for show. So we scroll up until we find show. This show function. So down here, we're simply going to pull the transactions. We'll say uh, transactions transactions equal to the user transactions so the next thing we want to make sure is that we have created a, a function a method called transactions inside user model so let's go to user model user so here we're going to have transactions it's already created here we did it sometime in the past so we are back here and um, we're looking at user um, controller transaction so we just need to pass it into the view so I will just do bring this down and go with with what are transactions that's the way you pass values or variables into um, Laravel view so this way now with all the transactions of this user can be listed guess what bang we have it oops error on the find variable users where Oh, because I used users instead of users, sorry. Um, that was a mistake on my part. If we go back to user show blade, here I typed users instead of this user. So, so if you're looking at a Laravel error like this, um, look at this part of the screen. You see that there's a red color. This line is red. It tells you the line where the problem is. So if we reload, and um, there we have it. Beautiful. So we have transactions. So. All the transactions by this user is listed here. Now, beneath the transactions, we need to also list the QR codes this user has created. So, if we go to the QR code, um, we're going to have to do the same thing again. We just duplicate the code we have for transactions and do it for QR code. So, here, oh, sorry. So, here we have. What did I just do? Okay, we'll copy this, paste it here, and change this to QR codes. And um, this should be QR codes, QR codes. We go back to the user controller and do the same thing. Call it QR codes. This is getting more beautiful and easier. So we duplicate this line. How to duplicate the line is Control C, Control V, it's duplicated. We'll copy the function now we need to go to the model user model to confirm that QR codes function exists or relationship so we'll go to user model and uh, it doesn't exist 
So we need to tell this user model how it's related to a QR code. So a user can have many QR codes. So um, that is the kind of relationship we already have in transactions. So I'll copy it and paste. So we can change it to QR codes. A user can create as many QR codes as possible. That's app models QR code. Beautiful. Refresh. Um, you see? So this one user has done this many transactions and this many QR codes. But imagine picture when this thing is over, let's say 500 each. There's a problem. And you know the problem is simple that um, uh, but if it's over 10 naturally this what we're using will paginate it you understand so if you scroll down you'll see numbers here so it's easy to click on those numbers and um, see more results so um, 10 here 10 here is fairly okay another way you can do it is to make it in, convert it into a tabs go and google for bootstrap tab so you can convert it now one more thing we um, I think that's it we're, we're basically good so if I'm looking at my profile, I can see all my QR codes. So if I now click any of my QR codes, I can now see the transactions performed under my QR code. And this is just amazing. This is this is awesome and so powerful. Thank you very much. See you going ahead subsequently. There is a major part of this um, platform we've not uh, fixed yet. And what does that platform do? That part, that part of the platform is the part of the platform where we need to um, restrict access from the um, our route file so that even if somebody tries to manipulate the url it won't open what they don't have permission to view they can't view it all right see you there